Okay, you're on. You you should see it. You're logged on to Facebook. You should see it when it starts, when All it right. goes live. Here we go. We're going live, guys. All right. You are live in five, four, three. Johnny ain't got to do nothing. Two, one. Go. You're live, dude. Start what, no music? We got, we got no it. music. He's got the music, don't he? No. no, he don't got the music. <laughs> hey, welcome to the Buddha Show. <laughs> it's Buddha Radio. <laughs> For the fucking music to start. I'm like, wait a minute, what's going on here? You you weren't paying attention to the preceding. No, I didn't. He was, he was counting down and everything. He, nah, he, nah, nah, he, man. No, he got like all professional and shit. I, He's I, like, I you're live in down, five. Man. Five, yeah. four, three, two. Yeah, but what, like, did, what did you think? What did you think he was getting down for? Last time I was here, he did the same shit and played the fucking music. Okay. Holy Jesus, <laughs> we're live. <laughs> this is too funny. All right, so welcome to Buddha Radio. <laughs> hey, everybody, how you doing? My name's John Conti, and I am hosting tonight for Buddha, who is moving his mom. Who's and moving to mom. my right? We've got the great spike. Hey, man, what's going on? Hey, how Good you to doing? Be here. Listen, give us a call. We'll talk about whatever it is the hell you want to talk about. Phone number is 609-800-1003. It's on the bottom of the screen there. Check it out. You know, give us a call. Is it really on the bottom of the yeah, screen? Yeah, I put it out there. I hope Holy so. shit. Yeah, it's right there. It's right there. It's right on the fucking screen. I see it. There you go. Look at that shit. That's good stuff, man. Yeah, That's fucking yeah, incredible. Good job, bro. You we're, did a good we're, job. we're doing like a real show or some shit. Yeah, oh, holy I, we got two guests coming That's in. That's incredible. They're late. They're on their way. We have a Michelin star chef. Is he a Michelin star chef? Well, he thinks he is. Oh. Okay. He's a good friend of mine. His name is Mark Russi. He's on his way. Legend in his own mind? Oh, definitely. Good good cook. I mean, look at me, man. I would, you know, I know who. I know, I, 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 me. I, I know something from cooking. Cook, man. But you know what? He's as skinny as fuck you'd ever want to see. Really? Oh, dude, wait till you see him. He's going to walk in. He looks like a fucking stick with hair. I or swear to God. All right. Gene. Oh, Gene. Gene our hey, director. That's, that's there our is, director there. There he is, our director, You're producer. And, him uh, right now. <laughs> no, they're not. They're not seeing you at all. Oh, you're probably going to step in. This is a delay. There you are. That's Gene right there. Gene, Gene, the dancing machine. <laughs> you can see the radio. Put some yeah, light on there. Yeah, a good guy, though. He's really good. He's he's an excellent chef. Yeah. Works in some good restaurants. I I, I, I used to do that, you know. I used to be a chef. Really? Yeah, for you real. You guys will have a lot in common. Yeah. Right? Shea Farrell's coming in, a comedian. He's Shea, coming great in. guy. And, met, uh, I met Shea a couple of times. I uh, Actually, last time I w saw Shea was at the uh, premiere of uh, Laughter Lounge. Oh, really? Yeah, I think that's uh, the last Shea, time I Shea's saw Shay. We use Shay a lot. Shay's a, a great opener. He's a middle too. Yeah, but he's a great opener. That was, and, uh, but that was the, that was the, uh, room, that know? was the, uh, yeah, that was the first. That was the very first episode of uh, Laughter Lounge. The very first time that uh, you guys ran out there, and it was a great show. And you done one, and you got another one planned, and the last one sold out. Yeah, it was a good show. You missed the last one. Yes, I did. I wish you were here. You were working. Um, trying to make sure that I'm at. I think I'm trying to be at the uh, the one in New York. Oh yeah. I think that's the one I'm gonna try because that way. Bay Lake. Yeah. Yeah, the free one. We've got a caller. I got. I see. Got my nephew. My nephew Ian's out there. And uh, who? Hey, he, he just hung up. And he just hung up. And he just hung up. Wow. <laughs> that's my life, man. All right. It's like when I used to date. You know, <laughs> they'd answer the phone and just fucking hang up. You know. That was you I was calling? Oh, is that it? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, how, that's how I used to date. I used to... Ring, uh, ring, hello. Ring, yeah. ring, hello. Yeah, it was tough. It was. It was. But you mean to... You know, I was a pudgy bastard at the time. Really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, I fucking changed. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and all awkward and everything, you know. So it was, it was tough. Yeah, yeah I call the, call the girls and get, get nervous and hang up. Yeah. Definitely. So, Not unlike the caller we just had, who maybe is a teenage girl. I don't well, know. I don't know. They, you know, just you know, they're afraid. You, you, th you they think get nervous? What, what are the odds that it was a teenage girl? It's fucking the internet radio. What are you worried about? <laughs> I'm, I'm just wondering what the odds were people. that it was a that it was a teenage girl. I'm, not, I'm thinking not so much. No, no. They, they, they don't. They don't acknowledge that we're like uh, male human beings at this point. No, we're old, bro. Yeah. We don't even we don't even register. They open a door for us and call us fucking sir. sir. Now. <laughs> I ha I help. I feel strange? I feel so good. I helped this old man at the Wawa. Like I was going out and he was coming in and I held the door and I felt so good and I called him sir and I just I felt so great about myself. Here's your caller, guys. I was wait one second. I'm sorry. Don't hang up, son of a bitch. Don't hang up yet. Hold on. 
Listen, man, I'm telling you, I was on my way in the fucking gym the other day, and this kid opened up the door and said, there you go, sir. I was like, get the fuck out of my way. <laughs> sir, how you doing? Caller, what do you got here? It's T-Pack. Terry, T-Pack, Terry Lidecker, holy shit. How you been, pal? I'm good, man. What's going on with the show here? Hey, it's, Where's you know, Mark? Mark's on his way. As soon as he gets here, call back, man. You'll see him on the screen. All right, I will do, man. I'm watching you right now. How you been, How bro? How long's the delay? I'm sorry? How long's your delay? Uh, not long. Not long. About five seconds, maybe. Oh, okay. I can see it. Anyway, uh, yeah, no, I'll call you back. Chat a little bit about the old days. All right, listen, yeah, definitely give us a call. Uh, listen, do me a favor. When you call back, right, turn the volume yeah. on your computer all the way down and talk to us on the all phone, right. okay? Is it down or is it bothering you? No, no, no. You'll get an echo, and we don't want that. It'll confuse you. All right. You. So just turn it down on the we computer. We want a Chris Clean sounding show here. We're very professional. Yeah, very we professional. We try to be. <laughs> all right. All, all right, right, dude. We'll call you the fact. All right, pal. Thanks a lot. We'll talk to you in a little while. No problem. Terry man. Lidecker, man, I used to play football with him when I was in my 20s. Man. Really? Hung out with him since I was like 13. You actually, I, I can't picture you playing football. Oh, no, huh? <laughs> I, I I picture you running the grill in the, 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 the parking lot before I, the game. I used that to make I the hole so all the other guys can get all the fucking glory. Yeah? You know? <laughs> yeah. What, that oh, meant you had to take out the ugly chicks? Is it, <laughs> No. No, nothing like that at all. Oh, okay. No, Just, no, no. Yeah, I, okay. No. Uh, I didn't think that's what you meant, but for played, some reason I thought football. I'd ask. We played football. It was hilarious. We used to play for money. Yeah? Yeah, we had a team that we played for money, cash, on Sundays. No bullshit. We used to show up hungover and fucking win. I don't even know. Yo, anybody want to play some football for I some money over here? It. But we used to play for money. We played a lot of teams. We played. Uh, we were from Wanaku. And we played in uh, Pompton Plains, um, Lincoln Park, like all the upper upstate New Jersey. Wanna kill. Yeah, yeah. Just sound like a bunch of, <laughs> where a bunch of guys, a, a bunch of hungover town. guys would be like, fucked up what do you do in Wanna kill? We play football for money. What the Listen fuck do you think we do? Listen to this. Tell me, tell me this was not a fucked up town. You ready for this? Okay. Five miles long. Five miles long. Okay. Do -da, about about do -da. 31 bars. Okay. Five miles long. Okay. Thirty-one bars. Think okay. That. That's I, I, a fucked up town. That that's a very well prepared town. That's a, five miles. You never know who's gonna come through in them five and, miles. Unfucking real, man. I and all of them packed, right? My cousin. My cousin not not a not an empty parking spot in any one of them I, fucking dude, places I'm either, was it? My cousin Rich and I and a friend of ours, we used to call him onions, Timmy Arthur. We tried it one night. We looked, we said, we started at one end of town and we walked all the way to the other end of town. Yeah. We were supposed to have two beers in each bar. Yeah. By the second bar, I was bloated. I was like, <laughs> listen, we you switch to rum and coke or vodka and seven or something, I just can't do the fucking beer. So we switched, right? Okay. Now we're, now we're drinking mixed drinks. Okay. We made every freaking bar in that town. Wow. No bullshit. Even the fucking restaurant. Wow. Uh, Birdis we went to. We wow. went to, oh, if I named them, you'd be like, get the fuck out of here. It's, I'm, I'm serious. And walking. Bunch, bunch of burgeoning alcoholics distance. you were. Or we were and walking every, every like, uh, no bullshit, every 500 feet or so, we were at another bar. And the, the longest walk was maybe a quarter of a mile to the to next string of bars. Because it was like, you started in, ha we started in Haskell, we started at Conrad's, Okay. That was the place everybody used to hang out at. We used to drink uh, uh, beer pitchers of kamikazes. Okay. The owner's son used to work there. He went to high school with most of the guys I hung out with. right? So we started there. Then we go to the across the street, the Anchor Casino. All right? Around the corner, all right? to, the, to the corner, make a left about maybe 50 feet, Mustache Pete's. Okay? Okay. Then you walk about another maybe football field length, 100 yards maybe, okay? And there was a, there was a Chinese joint, all right? It was a steakhouse at one time too, but they had a bar. We stopped there, okay? Okay. About maybe another 
two football lengths, two maybe you know, yeah, about two three hundred yards. You had the uh, Palatucci's. They had the best pool table in the fucking town. That's what it was known for. It was one of them old bars with the oak and everything, beautiful wood and everything. They had a pool table in there. So we're at Palatucci's now. That was a Palatucci's. All right, we made it to Palatucci's okay. so far. And after Palatucci's, not even fifty feet, you had another one. Um, oh, what the hell was the name of that fucking place? Uh, Billy, come on, somebody out there, help me out. Um, Goats. Uh, <laughs> Specs. Specs. It was Specs. Specs. Yes, it was Specs. <laughs> Okay, then after Specs. So you had Palatucci's and then Palatucci's Specs. Palatucci's and Specs, they were like 50 feet apart. Maybe 100, to, maybe 200 feet. At, at, the at the most. At the most. At the most. At the most. Then Probably more down, like 25 now, feet, now you're, 200 now, at the most. Now you got a pretty long walk because you got to walk past the school and shit, right? This okay. It's on Ringwood Avenue, all right? Well, it's and, nice to know they got the education part in there. Oh, yeah. Right, right, right along with alcoholics. Right past the school, and there was a liquor store in between. Right. Okay. Then well, you, the teachers had to have somewhere to go had, on their lunch you break. Had, you had Gates' Tavern, okay, which turned into a go-go joint one time across the street from the church. It was hilarious. That's awesome. It was a fucked up town, I'm telling you. That's awesome. They opened up a go-go bar, okay, across the street from the church. So you could be there all night, Saturday night, just doing... That's it, and they go to church and... Blasphemous the things, go, go over, bloody-eyed, next morning, just stumble across the street... And just do your... Uh, oh, the funny thing about it was all the cops, all the cops there. were in there. All the cops. You'd think if you were a cop in that town, you'd Ladies go to and a gentlemen, boys boy. and girls. Hey, the lovely Shay. and talented. Shay Farrell. Hey, Shay. <laughs> what the... What's up, brother? How are you, man? Good to see you, man. Have a seat, bro. Have a seat. There you go. Shay Farrell just walked in. How's it How going, doing, everybody? Good, good. So Holy I'm Did late. you like shave for this or something? You wearing cologne or something? You you smell it's, delicious. It's, it's, it's either that or I smell like creosote. Okay, <laughs> so it's uh, it, it could be that, uh, but no. you smell delicious. I'm just saying. Yeah, no, it's I, I get that a lot. <laughs> I do, I do. Uh, oddly enough, it's mostly from men. But the uh, point is, <laughs> it's it's either that it's either what I'm wearing or creosote, but uh, one, you know, not both. You know, we were just going over. I, me and my cousin, we started. One of the town. I lived in a, a, a ketchup room. We place. got just okay. past Palatucci's. Right. Right. Hold on. No, we did specs. And then we went to, uh, what you call it already? Uh, we were at Gates's, that which turned into the go-go bar. Yeah, the go-go bar. I lived in a, real quick. Okay. A small town, five miles long. We had 30-something bars. So nice. Nice. Okay. okay. So I'm going. We went from one end of the town to the other. I'm naming the bars. And also, what goes All right. So right now, we're like three-quarters of the way through town. Yeah. Because we're, yeah, we're by the church. Then you walk past that, you had Casa Roma. Yeah. And we're on rum and cokes by now. Oh, really? You're oh, up yeah. to that point? Or? Oh. oh, yeah. We, we, we only Shit, how did, much did I miss? We only <laughs> did beers. We only <laughs> did <laughs> beers the first two bars. The rest was all. The rest, yeah, the rest all was all drinks. mixed drinks. Yeah. Okay. You know. then, then you had after Casa Roma. You saw, this was the best. There was this guy on this bar. Okay. Yeah. Bless us all. A friend of mine who passed away, he actually bought the building. Okay. But it was... Uh, Gremlicks, all right. And the guy used to open up just to keep his license. You had to wake him up when you walked in the fucking place. Oh yeah. You walked in after like six o'clock at night. He'd be behind a bar in a chair, sleeping like this. Yeah. You'd have to wake him up, and say, hey. and there was always a dog in the bar. It was his dog. Like, but, I mean, he used to have to wake him up. And he'd be like, hey, we have a drink. Yeah. He'd blow the dust off the bottles and shit. You know, you want a what? I got it. <laughs> it was hilarious. Push the fruit flies away? Unreal. Unreal, that place. And it was like, it was a house. Because, like, the next room, he had a pool table in it. It was like putting a pool table in your living room. Yeah. It was, yeah. It was just you know, a weird it, bar. I, I was, over, over the holidays, I was, I, um, my sister lives in Rumson. And uh, we went to this bar called Murphy's. So Apparently, it's been there a radio. long time. And it's on Ward Street in Rumson. And okay. it's just in someone's basement. Gotcha. Like, if you put a bar in your basement and people drove up and parked there, you think you, you know... Oh, yeah. Well, I'm not, I didn't get to that part. They oh, had okay. one of them. Okay. You ready for this? Yeah. They, uh, everybody that's listening knows what's going on. I'm okay. telling you. All right? Because after... Uh, where, where did we, oh, oh, the guy we woke up. Yeah. You have All to right. wake him up. Yes. Uh, that's... Um, Dust on a bottle. That's yeah. Gremlins. <laughs> after Gremlins... Then you had a little bit of a walk, maybe um, a thousand feet or so, okay, to the next street. And there was two bars on one street. Okay. Okay, there was Flips and Dunderos. All right. Okay. Then, after that, you walked through where the railroad tracks used to be, through a development, 
and between two homes, there's a driveway, and it goes back to this place. Uh -huh. It used to be called Polly's. Okay. I was served there when I was 15. Nice. It was fucking gross. Very nice. Very it nice. was fucking... We used to cut school and go shoot pool there and shit. Nice. I can say... Well, the shit. age my, was 18. My parents then, passed though, away. Right? I don't care, man. The age I can was say 18. whatever I want. It was want. a lot easier then. Huh? Age was 18 back then, right? Dude, I was 15. We used yeah. to cut school they was, and shoot pool. They were, i never forget. We were shooting. Me and my cousin, we, we cut school. We went to Polly's. We were drinking. It was it was 15-cent beers. Yeah. You know, a glass of beer was 15 yeah. cents. We're fucking hanging out. We're having a great time. And we see my uncle's car pulling fucking oh, front. Boy. <laughs> he used to call them gin mills. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, gin, man. gin mills. Yeah. Man, you never seen... Three guys run through the bathroom so fast yeah, yeah. <laughs> and go out. through the window. We were out. It was snowing. Yeah. It was fucking cold. Oh, yeah. And we had to wait for my uncle to finish his fucking drink before we go back <laughs> in. <laughs> oh, that's fucked up. There, there was a hey, couple Mark Russie's here. Mark. Yes. Mark. Hey, Mark, welcome. welcome. Chef Mark Russie. Oh, <clears throat> Sit down right there. Put your headphones on. T Pack called in a little while ago. Did he really? Yeah. Hey, told me he's going to go give us a call. Yeah, you hear okay? Everything good? Yeah, let me adjust these. All right. Small head. Yeah. <laughs> no, don't put them on a small head. They but don't uh, work that no, way. we were going no, over. No. Listen, listen. We're I'm talking about wine listen. too, man. All right. Okay. Going over all the bars of me, and, me, Rich, and Onions drank it. Yeah. We're, we're past Smeckles. We're, we're past so we, we just got the Polly's, bro. Yeah, they are Polly's okay, now. Polly's. Polly's. Okay. Polly's. Polly's. Yeah, now it's, a, now it's a tree tavern. It's actually still, it's a restaurant. It's still there? Wow. The guy, tree, the guy who owns the Treehouse Pizzas? Yeah. Tree, tree Tavern. Tree, tree tavern. tavern Pizza? Yeah. He bought the joint. Did he? Yeah. It's nice. It's, they did a nice job. Yeah. It's really, uh, there, there it's was, tiny, like, but... They have an outside, like in the, in the yeah, spring like you could, like, yeah, you could have outside. Bon, like that's bonfire nice. places and stuff like that, an outside bar. It's pretty cool. But um, so when you say you, you know, and that's you, a plug, man. And I never performed there either. Fuck you guys. That's because uh, it's probably not big enough, unless you're outside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's you know, that's, you say, that's like, a good plug. Fuck you guys. Yeah, that's a great plug, right? <laughs> fuck you. I mean, it's a good plug. Wait, uh, wait, wait, it doesn't, it doesn't give you a good plug. Wait till that happens. So yeah. then you had, a, then you had to walk through the woods, past the light, you know, Jason's house, Jason lights, and all that. Yeah. And uh, walk walk through the development again, and you had um, Wally Wags. Okay. Yes, Wally Wags. And there was the, the roads. There was, then, there was yeah. two bars right next yeah, to each yeah, other. The American House. Building. The American House. Two bars in the same building. No, not the same building. Two, two different bars. buildings. It was, it was a driveway away. You let, you'd stagger from one and yeah. go into the other and then stagger back. Oh, yeah. You know, it was, oh, I'm doing it. It's the same thing. Yeah. There was a couple places I drank. You say you were in there when you were 15. It's a couple places I drank in when I was 15, oh, yeah. 16 years old. You, you didn't need any idea. Basically, what you need you know you needed a face. You needed you need a face a to get in the door. Yeah, you know what I mean, that was pretty much it. <laughs> yeah, money. Just money. money. Where I grew up, we actually we had a mustache. Where I grew up, we actually had a liquor store that you, you, you could just call. pull up to. Like it, it, it was a drive through liquor drive through liquor store. Nice. You just pull up to the window and basically, yeah, if you had money. You got liquor. We had nothing better to do than hang out in the woods. That's what we did. Yeah. I mean, I used to bullshit my old man. I used to look at my That's father and say, hey, Dad, Friday, I'm going to I'm going to Yeah, right? I need two bucks. And he bought that? Okay. Are you kidding me? He was proud. You have a date. Give her the high hard one, son. You know, I had a date with my buddies, man. That's all I had. But we, uh, two bucks. I used to walk out of my house. He knows where I live. We grew up together. Cut through the cemetery. Okay, right through the cemetery, and you had the quick check. Right? Walked in quick check. Right next to that. Right next to it was the Wanakew Liquors. But walk in a quick check, 50 cents, pack of cigarettes. Okay? Got a buck 50 left. Knock on the window of the Wanakew pub there because they had a small, like, 10 stool bar. Yeah. It was always one of my cousins who. My cousins were only three years older than me or four years older. One of their friends was in there. You know, they were old enough to drink. Yeah. Tap on a window, they come out. What do you need? Give a dollar and a quarter. I need an eight pack of butt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 65 cents a quart. Yep. <laughs> I need an eight pack of butt. Dollar and a quarter. Dollar right? and a quarter, yeah. Now, now I got 25 cents left, right? Yeah. After we went and hung out in the mountain, we drank behind quick check and shit like that. 25 cents, you walk across the street, there was Luigi's. 25 cents Reese, got your Reese slice. <laughs> so yeah. two bucks was a whole fucking night. And, and, and the 8-pack, that was nips at the time. Yep. Oh, yeah. Ponies, the eight man. 8-pack nips. 
Eight pack nips. Oh yeah. Yeah, right across the streets of Greasy Liz. We go get two dollars and buy a bottle of like uh, Thunderbird. Mad Dog. Oh, Mad Dog 2020. 2020. 2020. Nitrate. 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 Oh, man. That was so much fun. We were like, everyone, we get crazy once in a while by the, like, the green shit. The Mad Dog saying. Green. It's like Wild Irish Rose. Because we drank on those. Which was almost the same as drinking Listerine. Yeah, pretty much. Almost. And gas. Yeah, almost the same as gas. Hey, if you want to talk to us. Or huffing gasoline, yes. Give us a call. Yeah, give us a call. Call in, man. We want to talk to some people. T-Pac just yeah, called Yeah, man. Call yeah, in. Yeah, he called in before you got yeah, this, here. This, this radio station is so remote, I asked the cop. He said, no idea. <laughs> yeah, well, how, yeah, so, yeah. I think it's over there. I don't know. Uh, I, I ran over some guy. There, some there's some a radio station? In the park a lot, and he said, oh, yeah, it's upstairs. There, there, there's a radio station the cop's in? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what channel is it? Yes. Yeah, that's uh, Crazy to shit we used. I see my, you were in the woods. I my, my my area. We we hung out on the beach when we were kids. We just hung out on the beach because we had there were nowhere else to go. The beach or the football field. Oh yeah. The school. See, so. we we were entrepreneurs though. Yeah. There was no bullshit. I mean, the shit we used to do. If I talk about this, well, who cares? Because it was 35, 40 years ago. Yeah, I believe the Statue of Limitations has run out. No, but the, I don't think your mom needs to no, 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 no. It has nothing to do with that. What I'm saying is, is the people that are watching this that are younger than me, we didn't steal from all of you, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Just most of you. Call in. <laughs> we, used to, we used to pitch in. Because we were about 17, 18. There was a couple of us that were eating yeah. and stuff. Able to buy All right. So we'd look and say, there's a keg party at, okay? And it would be either at the place, the spot. We had names for fucking everything, all right? The yeah. bench. One was the sand pits. There was a sand pit. They, we used to, you know, we'd build a bonfire and we'd have a keg party. That's yeah. what it was. We would pitch in. We would get the first keg from Flips. We had, you know, the tap. We put the deposit down and shit. And we got a half barrel of beer. You show up on site. There's 150 fucking kids there. Yeah. So it's two bucks, two bucks, two, two bucks, bucks, two, in, bucks, yeah. two, two bucks, bucks, two bucks, two bucks. How long is a half, half a keg going to fucking last, right? Mm -hmm. It's 9 o'clock at night. How long is this thing going to last? By, by like 9.30, it's getting low. So now. Just foam. Now yeah. we pass the hat. Yeah. And we say, we're going to get another we'll keg. <laughs> pass the hat around. Everybody, come on, put it, put it, put it. So you get all their fucking money. Yeah. Then we go to the bar. <laughs> we hang out for like two hours. Yeah. Okay? Because all the little ones got to go home. They got to be home by 11 o'clock, 11.30, you know? Oh, yeah. All right? Then we around after shooting a couple games of pool and drinking at the bar, we'd be like, all right. Let's go hey, get buddy, the we need a we need a, yeah. another half barrel. <laughs> Take it back to Dolo's house. And we, then, we go, then we go out into the woods, and all the little kids would be gone. It would be about maybe... 30 of us yeah, about that. that would be left yeah and we'd hang out and we drank we always drank on the younger ones it was yeah. great man <laughs> never really made money like 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 what i'm saying well, is because we drank yeah. it away we drank it it, drank it was it never away. grand larceny yeah yeah, yeah no it's just larceny yeah, it was larceny. assumption yeah. larceny yeah grand, <laughs> grand we larceny consumed a lot of fucking drinks yeah <laughs> grand larceny is if they would just walked away with the cash yeah uh, yeah yeah, we did something but they did give Erica, back. Erica, Erica they did Manson. give back. Bud Larceny. Wow, we got a lot of people on here. Really? Hey, call in, man. Let's talk to somebody. Yeah. Yeah, growing up in that town was fucked up, man. Yeah. No, I'm I sure you got it. your I believe it. I got some stories. Like I said, I grew up in a beach town. Uh, so I was along the beach. Yeah, so you had some fucking We had some stories, you know, some, some crazy yeah. shit. We'd make fire, same thing, fires on the beach or hang out at house parties. It's just, it was a small town, same thing. Small town at one point, I think, had 63 bars in it. One, you know, one square mile town with 63 bars at one time. Jackie Gleason used to hang out in the 40s. Really? Down there at the Miami Club was inside of Kingsburg. Yeah, but they Kingsburg weren't always open. They closed. In a, in well, a lot over the years, they all started just kind of floating no, away. No, I'm talking about in the summer. Summer, they were open, but in the fall. No, no, they were open they all were year open round. all the time, huh? Yeah, all year round. Wow. Yeah, I used to, when I was nine, I used to shine shoes in the bars. I mean, my brother and I, we got this shine box, we'd go and we'd shine funny. shoes. That was, that was my first job, too. Because, you know, two guys in total. You, you, we'd always, Does always. You look old enough to fucking shine shoes? Always. I don't know, it looks older go than me. Go get your fucking shine box. Go get your fucking shine box. Go get your fucking shine box. Go ahead, Tom. No, no, fuck hey. go fuck get your fucking shine, shine box. box. Hey, hey, well, you know, we're over here, we're <laughs> hugging, and we're over here hugging, and all of a sudden you get a latitude. 
But, go uh, get your fucking goddamn. My brother and I, we always we always managed to find. We'd go to two or three bars in particular, and we'd always manage to find the one drunk who was, you know, I I'd shine his like his sneakers. And he didn't know he was like, ah, oh, the kid's working, good for him here. And I shine his sneakers, and he throws. He think he's giving me a twenty. It's like a fifty. Or he thinks he's giving me a ten. It's a twenty. Right. It was like we always we always radar in on those guys. But when you're nine years old and you're making twenty, thirty bucks a week, that's big. That's big coin right there. That's good. Cool. It was, was funny because I, I was just looking at my digits. shine box the other day. It sat on my basement. I was going to bring it upstairs just to. Oh yeah. To look I, at I'll it. tell you somebody, what. I, I, somebody I had put on Facebook. Uh, uh, what was the first job you ever had? And like a lot of people that follow me. You guys got a caller. Town so. It's fun to, to we look at these call. places because yeah. I, I know. I started. You got a I caller, started, guys. Oh, you got a caller? Okay. Oh. okay. Hello. <laughs> Does, doesn't anybody say hello there or what? Hello. Hello. Yes. John Caffaro. John Caffaro. He's down in Florida. He's one of my friends from Forked River. Good guy. Writes a lot of uh, self-motivation books. What's up, John? How are you? What's up, guys? How you doing tonight? Hello, Mr. I'm John. Trying enjoy, I'm trying to enjoy. My, I'm trying to enjoy my dinner, and all I hear is the F word. Get the fuck out uh, of here. Put your headphones well, on. Change your fucking channel. Are you really? Fucking I mean, what, it's 7:30 at night. What are you, you kidding me? You could stop eating dinner. Yeah. Holy shit! What, when did you change? Get the kids. Hey, get the kids a cell phone. Let them entertain themselves. He got the bluebird special. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he moved down to Florida, right? He's young. He's, he's a young guy. Moved down to Florida. Christ, it's almost his fucking bedtime. Right Jesus. Now, really? All right. Just dinner at three. I'm, I'm, six, room. I'm trying to... What were you saying? You were, you were trying to digest your dinner? It's 730. I'm, I'm eating my dinner. Oh, you're eating, eating your dinner. dinner. Oh, okay. I'm waiting. I'm actually waiting for dinner. Listening to this. Let's talk on Facebook here. Okay. How do you like Sounds it so good. far? I like it. I like it, man. You like, like it, it, brother? What's what are you guys up to? Talking How's the weather? Yeah. How's the weather? Up? <laughs> just, beautiful. Just it's cold. It's Oddly enough, Canada. yesterday it got up to sixty. Like yesterday was gorgeous. Yeah, today was about sixty up north. Yeah. Well, then the yeah, it's it stopped rain. raining for almost twenty-four right. solid hours. Yeah, almost, almost, right. not quite. <laughs> yeah, it's been gloomy here like a couple weeks now. Huh? Yeah, it's yeah, it's been pretty but, bad. But I mean, it's been, it's been nonstop raining since like Sunday. I feel like I'm in fucking Seattle. I, I was out really? drum when it started, and it hasn't stopped since, except for yesterday. Briefly, it's unreal. That sucks. Wow. And, he, and this cocksucker's fucking waking up in eighty degree fucking weather and shit down. What here. part of Florida are you? In? <laughs> what part of Florida are you down there? Nice, nice language. I, I got my my girl here with me. And oh, excuse me. I'm stuff. sorry, ladies. I, I didn't mean uh, that to come out, but you know, he is what he is. He does, he's what never he heard. He's never heard of these words. <laughs> never. <laughs> Then what's she no. doing with you? Yeah. yeah, really. I know you know Conti. That's all well, I need hey, to know. Listen, what's I don't she know, doing I don't with know you? This one because I don't. His other is the one before this one. Does it? Does it up here? Doesn't matter. What the fuck she thinks she's getting? She's I mean, she, he, the, the guy's a don't friend of yours. Dude, dude, the same the woman. guy's a friend of yours. He's like he dating his daughter, and, 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 and he doesn't know the, the fuck word. No, he Are knows you kidding the fuck me? word. I'm just saying that this is this guy. I don't know what I, I, I listen. I don't want to, you know, uh, offend your girlfriend or anything like that. But I'm, I'm just saying, like, the girl that he had up here in Jersey, she was, she was twenty, like twenty. I don't know, early twenties. Yeah, she was a fucking kid. Nice. And I used to, I called him the pedophile. I used to bust his balls all the time. Nice. Wait, wait, all wait, wait a minute. That makes her. I loved that him. that, ma that makes her my daughter's age. You perverted he, son I, of a he, bitch. He, could have been his daughter. Christ. God bless you. Yeah, that's all I can say. God bless yeah. you. Glad it's not my son. Hey, Good for him. Listening. Yeah, there you go. She's listening in here. You're really killing it for me. I'm killing it for you. She, hey, she. He used to break yeah. up with her, and and she come back. It's a what's he got a mag mag fucking penis or something? She keep kept coming it's, back to him. This is Facebook, so you're watching, right? So it's either this big or round, oh. and that would be either his cock or his money roll. That's all I'm saying. It wasn't the money. Could be both. Or or I mean, both. He was. He was. Could he be was, both. Yeah. Good, very, good point. He, he was good very point. Very well off at one time, and he's he's getting back there. I mean, he is. He's doing a good job, and I congratulate you, man. I'm I'm very proud We're, of you. You're doing you're very, very good. Yeah. 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 Okay. You're you're right. Yeah. Some bring it home inspirational for all material. I I listened to you on your. Um, I listened to you on your Periscope, man. I mean, I follow you once in a while. Yeah, my, my wife listens, so I don't. I mean, if I'm, if I can hear, why should two phones have it? You know what I'm saying? So I listen to what because yeah, no, Joanne, get my you know, viewers up, other viewer up. Yeah. If you want, check him out, man. Check him out, John. <laughs> what is it, John? Ka give him, give him your plug. Go ahead. John Kefira, C A F I E R O. <laughs> 
I, what, Periscope? On Periscope. Mostly. I go live on Facebook. All right, guys. I got to run. Dinner's ready. All right. Thanks listen, for calling in, man. Thanks for calling God in. God bless you, John. Pleasure Good meeting you. Lovely to you guys down here in Florida and put on a show. Hey, you're not dating your daughter down there again, are you? No, no. I gotta, <laughs> we got a guy has got to come down and hang with us. Hey, I got to come down there. I want to tour down there again. I'm going to talk to uh, Roger yep. and try to get out there again. I'm going to bring I'll come down, but you got to hook me up with, you know, one of your backups down there or something while I'm you there. You know what? You should open up for one us. One of your throwaways. <laughs> Are you me, me, me and Pluto go on the road together, okay? And you should open up for us. You're, You're fucking funny. You I know, you them. realize, of course, I'm not a comedian. I simply play one on the radio. I understand that, but you know what? It's the same thing. <laughs> I just act. You You're know, good. Just, You're just, funny. Well, thank you. No, really, you should. You should go on the road with us. Because we could put something together, man. I'm looking to put this, actor, a three act together where. <laughs> Guys, we got can another go. caller. We got another caller? Another caller. Oh, Jesus. Caller, what do we got here? Hello. Good job. You got the groove from Florida. Groover. Oh, Steve Mann. Holy oh, shit. What's up, Steve my brother? Mann. How are you? How are you doing? Let's talk hello. about dating kids. <laughs> <laughs> apparently, we're you popular hear the in Florida. Subject? I was going to say, apparently, we're coming in clear <laughs> wow. down there. Yeah. I hear quite a stir going on. What's going on? Hey, what's up, brother, man? Hey, how are you? How's the grandchildren? What, what, your ears fucking ringing or something, bro? Like church bells. Yeah, uh, how's I, the grandchildren? Guess, we were just I talking guess, to Eric, a guy that would date him. Well, Eric and Ian's ears were ringing and uh so when their ears ring my phone rings and then here i am oh, oh yeah man, huh? that's wild hey, the kids, hey Eric, the kids are how, how you doing so uh you're another one down I'm in fucking wonderful. florida man yeah we're down in florida enjoying the warm weather and um i, I didn't get good in. money for my snow shovel but i really didn't care <laughs> <laughs> oh shit been a long time man you know this is a friend of ours from high school Another guy I played football with. Friend, friend of mine or friend of ours? Friend of ours. Friend of, friend of ours. ours. Definitely of a friend ours. of ours. Oh, all of ours. All of ours. We'll, we'll be now. Brothers in arms. Yeah. Brothers in arms. Yeah. That's, we're all from Wanaku. It's not a town. It's an attitude. Yeah. You know, that's a, you know it, was, it was a fucked up town because, like, you know, we grew up. I grew up on Garbarino Avenue, all right? And, and it's like there were about maybe 15, probably 15 kids our age, boys and girls. Right. Okay? And... It was like a rule in this uh, on this street. Like, it's, it's like they could fuck with you, but nobody else could. Yeah, but nobody else could. Right. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, they they could beat you up, and and you could fight back and all that other stuff. It was it was in the circle. Right. We lived in a. It was not a cul-de-sac. It was like a fucking queue. But yeah. outside of that, one way but in. Outside of that, you one didn't way out. Care. Okay. Yeah, you didn't care. Yeah. In inside there, they could fuck with you. Okay. Nobody could fuck with you outside of there. Yeah. You know, it, it was wild. Yeah. And then you had your friends, like, because, like, Steve lived up. He, it was like you were from the same. You could fart on one end of town, and they know it on the other end before you fucking got there. Yeah, exactly. That's the kind of town yeah. it was. One horse town. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. and it was it, it was great because, Mark, how long, what, what were we? We were, what, eight, nine, when we really met, right? About just, that, yeah. Just meander and Ryan riding bikes and riding running bikes. into each other and then We've been friends we for... end up at Shea Stadium <laughs> 30 years later with our children. With the Colorado you know, Rockies I mean, wives, remember that? With Mark running the bases. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, in the locker room. Got to meet a lot of people that day. No, that was funny. So it takes oh, me man. to be on the oh, radio Mark, for you to fucking you call. I, it, was the, it was the Miracle Mets 25th anniversary. <laughs> you and I, I got the Yankees jacket on. You got the Mets. We're talking like we're workers. We get in the elevator. We go upstairs and boom, <laughs> Jerry Kuzman. Right? Yeah, yeah, hanging out with Jerry Kuzman. It was great. I had a beer with him. We were hanging with Jerry Kuzman in the tower at Shea Stadium. <laughs> like, like crazy guys. Uh, the funny part was, remember me, you, and Huey went to go. Uh, we were just walking around, and we went to. We ended up with the Colorado Rockies wives partying. Yeah. No, no. Here's what. No, we we ditched Huey. We ditched remember Huey. He got caught. He got caught by the fire. I don't really uh, know. This is the best thing. I bought a Colorado Rockies hat because my kid liked purple, right? Yeah. So. I, I throw you a 20. I go, go get us a, a couple beers. <laughs> and I'm sitting there, and you come back. I go, dude, there were only 250 a piece. He goes, no, they were free. I threw him a $5 tip. I'm like, cool, <laughs> <in." laughs> We were going out there for like the fourth inning and on. Oh, it was great. 
Uh, Steve, man, it's good to hear your voice. Listen, uh, I know T- Terry Lidecker is trying to call in. I know he wants to call. A few other people want to call. It was great to hear from you. All thanks right, thanks for calling in, man. Appreciate that. Great. Grover, I'll talk to you hey, soon. Hey, John, John, come down and play down on 19 again, and uh, you, know, you can stay here at the house, man. Yeah, I know. You know why? I got you. I got Caffaro out there. I got cousins out there and stuff. I got I got to get a tour going. I really do. I got to talk to Buddha and see when we can get You, you like, really do. This is... This is time to bump it up, brother. Yeah, get about six weeks off and, and uh, or four weeks off, whatever, and go out there and uh, you used to call it, and do fired, you right? know both yeah. both both yeah. sides of the state. You know we get we, you know we hit the west coast and we'll go on the east coast. And uh, very cool. All right, all right, man. Well, it's do good you, talking do your to you, thing. It's great talking to both of you guys. I love <laughs> you. And uh, tell Eric and Ian. Um, and daddy loves them and well, everybody they, have a good night out there. they're listening so they can hear that all right you take care steve steve man. all right brother bye group talk yeah. to you later yeah good game man you know it's fun to hear from guys oh, you I grew know. up with yeah. you know i know i do the same once in a while a little reminiscent action yeah he's but, he's well it's funny you say kingsburg my son's living in kingsburg now now yeah. Okay. Who's your son? I probably did. You just recently you arrest there? him or uh, something? A couple of years ago. Not me. <laughs> um, I mean, I pulled I, over I, with I, pot. I've, I've been arrested in Kingsburg. But, uh, <laughs> I've always been arrested in Kingsburg. Hey, you look like a cop. You know that, don't you? No, no, oh, no. You I don't look like you, a cop. Oh, you look more like a cop than a fucking cop looks like a cop. Uh, listen, I don't look like a cop. All look right. at that camera. All right, everybody. Does that fucker look like a cop to you or what? All right, come on yes. in, everybody. Come on in. The raid, is, the raid is taking place now. Okay, up against the wall. I don't up think against the so. wall. I don't, no. I don't see it. You don't see it? No. I don't see it. I look oh, like I... John McClane. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit, right? A little bit. I, get, a cop. I, I get that a lot. So. It's a cop. It's a cop, it's a, you know? it, it's it's a a cop, cop. in a movie. But it's a cop. cop. Give me your hat. He'll look just like McClane. <laughs> Yippee Kaye, motherfucker. Yippee Kaye, motherfucker. So, where in Kingsburg is he living? What street? To tell you the truth, I don't even know the street. What do you want to date the once. fucking guy? Maybe. Okay. Don't I smell? He's looking. He's, look, he's looking for a hobby. Somebody to stalk. You know, he's, he's got to keep them two blocks from the beach. Last time, the last and only time. In the yellow house. house. Yeah, the yellow he house. Two blocks from the beach. Does is it? Does it have a um, like <laughs> steps going up to it? Normally, most houses do. All right. Well, then I know where he is. I know where he is. I know where he is. It's that one. I know exactly where he is. No, I I I worked on the boardwalk when I was twelve. Worked for the pizza place and I ran the go karts. Yeah, matter of fact, there's a pizza place right on the corner, just like everywhere else in the United States. There's yeah. a pizza place right on the corner. Right on the corner? Right on the corner. Right on the corner. Just two blocks from the water. I'm trying to think where that is. And speaking of pizza places, corner. I'm going to give a friend of mine a plug. Uh, I don't know if he's listening or not, but uh, if you live in Upper Greenwood Lake, there's Nino's Pizza, and um, a friend of mine uh, bought it and opened it up, and I, I understand the food hey, is hey, good. Hey, hey, so not, not hey, not, not, not for nothing. Did Dino send a pie with you tonight? No, he didn't. I didn't, I didn't go up there. He that gets it. Cop, <laughs> yeah, fuck that. <laughs> I'm just saying. Giving him a plug. Yeah, yeah. Holy Jesus. He, he, he didn't call in. He didn't call in. He's not here. He didn't send a pie. What are you, pl- what are you plugging this mug for? I don't know. Is this old home week I for you or like something? Saying. I'm just wondering. <laughs> I'm just asking. Trying to beat that air. I don't know. Yeah, I, I was wondering. <laughs> He's wandering back of his mind. Am I backpedaling the number? A little bit. A little, a little bit. A little bit. Give us a call, man. Yeah, we no, want to talk to I mean, if, you, if you're going to put that plug out there, put it out there. Stand behind it. God damn it. I mean, Jesus. If I haven't eaten there yet. I don't know. Oh, well, you, you could be selling his doom. You know, maybe he's going to suck, and then, My step son, and, and then the people corner, are going to be all really saying, good. Johnny said, ah, I should said, go there. He said, listen. They talked about it on Buddha Radio. We should go there. It's Everybody should Chinese go there. Brother. Go check out okay. the... Was it Johnny Janina? No, the other one, the younger one. He lived with Richie, yeah. for, my cousin Richie, for a he's while. He's just going to totally blow this off. Yeah, you know what? Like, if you backpedaled no, anymore, you'd be moonwalking. Mike. Mike Janina. <laughs> Mike Janina. <laughs> Mike Janina owns it. Okay. Yeah. My stepson lives around the corner. Mike, if you're listening... You got to change your uh, buffalo wing sauce because uh, they didn't like it. They, but that was the only thing. They said it was like taking just hot sauce and throwing it on there. So, like, you know, look on the internet. Get yourself a nice little hot wing the sauce. Uh, you, you got to the th- chef over you, here. You got to th- think about, the, you gotta think about this more. stuff uh, ahead of time. You're going to start talking about food. You want to... Critique food, uh, no, plug food, what? You, I haven't been there. I, I need some food in front of me. Together, we hungry. should not be talking about food if there is no food here. Is my point? Okay, we what, don't want to talk about food. What you do know, you want to talk about? I I I don't know. Um, beat dead air some more, whatever. Flog that donkey with the. Oh, 
can I dead dick, whatever. I still but... had two more bars to go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. Oh, two more bars. There was two more bars to go. I like that. You just kind of oh, circled yeah, yeah, that. Yeah. Right. You got right back to it. You like yeah. yeah, you didn't yeah. get to Haskell yeah. yet. It, it took a while, but you no, made you it back. You went through Haskell. You, were, you weren't fucking here yeah. yet. You were late. Uh, well, you don't. He's okay. like a GPS. We made, we we made it so far on this journey. Okay. Please. Okay, two bars. Two bars yeah. left. Then we had the, the, the American House. Which two bars? Recalculating. Mm-hmm. Okay. The A House. The American House. The best thing about the American House was... It was American. You used to go to New York City, a party in New York City all fucking night long. And then come and back on to the, the way American home house. with the sun is coming up, you stop at the American, American house. house. They open up at 730, 7.30 in the morning. fucking morning. Yeah. And you can have a couple of uh, morning caps before yeah. you went back home to go to bed. I also lived in <laughs> I also lived in the Highlands, and they had a bar down there called the Driftwood, and they used to open up at 6. So at 6.05, you'd see... Ten guys sitting at the bar, a bunch of fishing poles stacked in the corner. To be like, honey, I'm going fishing. Listen, I'm going see, out. You, you guys don't understand. I grew up in the Midwest. I grew up in a small town in Ohio. Um, I could walk to the local steel mill yeah. that was open 24 seven. Yeah, and right day. across the street was a bar. Was a bar. Yeah, <laughs> open 24 seven. Yep. And yeah, we just used to go in there and. Uh, you better go. Your dad's due to come in here anytime now. All right, thanks. I'll see you. Right. Thanks. Oh yeah. Oh Shift yeah. change. Yeah, yeah one, it's not, it's one coming fun. in the front door, one going out the back I'm door. I'm your back door man. Yeah, basically. Hey, ho. <laughs> yeah, God, I, I got, I got a bunch of stories hey, growing up. It's just everybody does though. Everybody yeah. got those stories of different things you did and stupid shit. You know, I, 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 I grew up in that town, so I was just telling a friend of mine the other day at work that uh. You know, my buddy and I, they used to have the giant slide down there, the big one. That's all gone now. It's been gone for years. But they had a the big... I rode my bike down that thing in the winter when it was closed. Wow. And and I, I completely missed the last hump. I mean, I was just going that fast. And you don't even think how stupid it is. There was just a little gate, a little man gate at the bottom. So we opened the gate and, 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 now, yeah, and, and, and hope we went through it. And we did. <laughs> but not even thinking. Like, I, I would have hit that fence. Like, there was up. no chance that you couldn't hit that gate. I mean... You just opened the gate because you know you were going through it. Yeah, right? yeah, but it didn't it's even a, occur it, to you. Like you had to go to the corner because it was in the corner. So now I'm heading straight and then get to the bottom and quick turn and get through the gate. And you know when you're when you're 13, you have the reflexes to do that shit. Now I would just be straight up dead. Now I'd just be a shit oh, standing yeah. at the bottom of the, you know. But that's the thing but too. I, is but you know what? On a bike, I was probably doing 50 miles an hour. We used to go down thing. the down the uh, Wanakee River or the Pompton Lakes River on styrofoam with two sticks as as uh, as oars. As oars. <laughs> Yeah. I, I went. I went. Uh, Styrofoam stolen from the candle factory. From the candle factory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I, used, I went uh, white water we rafting the, with my kids. We had the reservoir by us. We used to the Wanaku reservoir. Oh, that was we used great. to break the chain link fence and go through the woods. Yeah, we had, we had the floodgates. And, oh yeah. And we would jump off. But oh, it's see, like four we, stories up. Well, nice. that was uh, damn four. Damn nice. four in Haskell. There was a, there was a nice jump off that. Yeah. We locked the Poco Rock. Yeah. We used to have to jump out. You couldn't jump off. You had to dive. Yeah. But it was wild because the way, it, the way it filled you, up. You it, yeah, you had to get out. You had yeah, to get you, out there. You had a, you could walk like maybe four or five feet, and then it would be like a 50-foot drop. Like a drop-off, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, and you, yeah. And, you, and the, rocks came, the rocks went down into the water. You didn't jump off the rocks into the water. You had to dive. You had to dive so you yeah. clear the rocks. So you clear you the rocks. Clear the rocks. Oh, God. Remember the trestle? We used to jump off the trestle? Yeah. yeah we, had a, we, we had a trestle. But again, it never occurred to anybody that anything <laughs> could ever go wrong. Not in the middle of never the summer. Going, never. Only doing rainstorms. Like I'm, I'm, doing, I'm doing 100 miles an hour on a bike down a giant slide. My and grandmother like, thinking, right oh, over there. This is fun, not dangerous. Yeah. Fun. fun. Yeah, you know? Nothing yeah, could possibly go wrong. Nothing. We, hey, come on. How many times did you fall and hit your head? And you get up and you go well, like this and you're crying. It hurts. And your mother's like, what did he hit? His head. He'll be all right. Don't worry about, about it. it. Yeah, I, I fell a few times and hit my How head. But the times? good news is, is that there's no long lasting repercussions. <laughs> yeah, right? I mean, no, just, you know, no shit. Fuck that. Yeah. This is what has to be no. You know what it is? I, I should have been a doctor, but I hit my head. Now I'm sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> and today, how did they send a kid out today? Well, they got helmets. They got arm pads, knee pads. They, what are they doing? Gonna go out and blow somebody or something? Yeah, no. it's crazy. What the fuck with all this shit? Yeah. The hockey it's, it's, yeah. it's like you it's have like, you have to like make sure they're, they're intact Christmas so story. they can get their participation I can't trophy move. later. Ralphie, Ralphie can't move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. it's unreal. Helmet, crazy. 
Who the fuck wore the only ones that wore a helmet they were the racers? Were, were the special the kids. ones that actually raced bicycles? Yeah, the kids. And we all thought they were gay anyway, school. so nobody and, then, and they didn't wear them either. Even, even they it. didn't wear them was, back then. Yeah. I mean, the special kids; those were the ones that wore the helmets. Yeah. That was all the wear the helmets. Affection, well, yeah, well, affectionately known as they didn't even have helmets for them yeah. back then. No, not when we were kids. Not, not when we were kids. Talking. Uh, no, 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 no. Couple of them had the helmet because they'd sit there on the floor. No, no. They were doing that. There was a couple hitting yeah. the lock. Oh, yeah. Oh, so we're talking. No, they didn't have fucking helmets. Then. We're talking no? about the same no, window well, workers? Unless they weren't bad enough for say, helmets. I don't know. We just fired. didn't want them in our time. They had them in one side. Wow. I don't know. They were like segregated. It was called the H wing. Wow. In tech, that was fucked up. So you but, guys were cruel fuckers even back then. We were I mean, that. Jesus, no helmets, nothing. Not, not us. It was our parents. Oh, okay. It wasn't us. We want. We didn't. We didn't care about it. I still don't. The only helmet. padding I, we played. We played tackle for money with no oh, pads. pads. The only pads we had were like knee pads and, and like forearm pads. Yeah, so you could hit people. That Got was it. it. That we we played tackle football in the street. No. On football fields, but I mean, it's just about it was Jesus just Christ. about the same. The story better. The football the fields the were story. like that hard. I mean, it was you know not like today. These kids play today. It's like fucking laying on a cushion. It's all fucking uh, turf. It's like on a, on a turf. it's all turf. It's like it's, turf. Like, yeah. it's, it's like playing football in a giant bounce oh, house. Oh man, my, yeah. My, the, the, the high school, a lot of the high schools. Great Glen High now. School field had glass on it. Yeah. Because well, we, we were drinking the night before. Yeah, yeah that's you know where that glass came <laughs> that's from. What, that's what I was thinking. You know, what? Back when I was in high school, yeah, there's glass everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Well, a friend of mine is I'll like one of the head all. maintenance guys over there, right? Fred Smith works over. It's like a holy sh. And you can always tell the guy who works for the fucking football field in the town because his lawn is the fucking best on the block. Yeah. <laughs> Free fertilizer. <laughs> Oddly enough, it was a lot of amber glass. <laughs> oh, but I tell you what, the kids today, man, it's like laying on a cushion. It's yeah. not the same. Yeah, well, well, there's a lot to be said about falling on glass, glass, and rocks and, rocks rocks. and dirt. Then there Bill's is character. No, yeah, not, yeah, yeah. The character. whole thing is, I was not a lineman. Kind of character so I was you want to run into in, in a dark alley. You were face down in the door. But you were face down in the door while running by. But if your kid had to be one of the two, which would you like? I said, I used to open up the holes. You guys used to get all the fucking glory. Well, look at Johnny playing football. He's the fastest guy for three feet in any direction. After that, forget it. He didn't have to run after you. Yeah. No, nah, because they always caught them. Well, oh, yeah, that was the time. That was the whole point. You were, you were the fastest guy on the field for three feet in either, either direction. That's it. Thank That's you. That's it. You're a great sprinter. Oh, pff, if there was a donut, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Shit for long distance. Well, we, to yeah. well, we used to do short things wrong. We used to bring Listen, Johnny with us. We played Pee Wee football, okay? For money? No, Pee Wee. <laughs> when we were little kids, we played I just Pee-wee wanted them football. to know when it started. That's and, all. And we used to, we used to, when we used to have to do laps. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, 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 fuck that shit, man. <laughs> no, 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 that's this guy. We don't do our laughs. Me and other guys. Time. I wasn't the only fucker because there was Feather. Feather didn't like to run. No. He liked playing with ball. Well, I don't know. Anybody but he didn't like to doing laughs. We used to fucking stop in the bushes over there back where the, uh, like the. By McPartland's. The, no, 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 not by McPartland's where, where that little greenhouse was. Like, it was a, um, like a pump house or something. Okay, yeah, yeah. On the, the, on the far place. end. The far end. Though, right, yeah. right. We used to ditch behind there in the bush and smoke fucking cigarettes. I got snagged one time because the first time ever my father ever showed up to see me practice. And there I am in the bushes with four other guys with fucking smoking cigarettes. <laughs> and, and we're Halfway we're, through the lap. We're, we're we're so like, proud. 12? <laughs> wow, <laughs> even younger than that. I, know, I started smoking when I was... Holy I started my first shit. pack of cigarettes when I was seven. Back then, it was, it was the normal. My kids are listening. smoked. Yeah, exactly. Dave, remember the Marlboro Especially your seven year old. Did you smoke? Did you ever no, smoke? Never. You smoke? Never. I, I had smoked. You, yes. you remember the Marlboro Miles? Yeah. You used to get fucking. Here, give us a half a long. We'll give you a fucking canoe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what? That, that, well, that we was stupid. That's all my stuff. Well, that was, that was the biggest stuff. thing about the Marlboro Miles. We got they would give you trips. Yeah, you know, go on a hiking trip. Yeah. It's yeah. like, what? I got I, I, I got to smoke 600 <laughs> like packs. of cigarettes yeah. to get, yeah. up, to get to, to the fresh air. To get a fucking skateboard that I can't ride. So, <laughs> you know, they should have gave away, I honestly, they should have gave away real prizes. Like, like, Actually, like, you know what? The like, funny thing is, yeah. I have my Marlboro like bag in the car. 500,000, you still have it? I, I still got a Marlboro bag. bag. For 500,000 miles, yep. you got, like, the iron lung. Yeah, you but know then you were proud of it. Yeah. You were proud of it. 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 You were proud of it
fucked yeah. enough to yeah. fucking get this 60, guy. 60,000 packs of smoke. Yeah, right. said, fuck you. For, for a million miles. And then miles, you go on a bar and steal the miles from people to get pissed off. Well, then we for, used to do the drugs so we'd smoke more You're going to make it. Yeah, no, for a straight million miles, you should have you been buried up there in Marlboro Country. That's what they should do for free. Huh? You know, where the flavor is. You know what I mean? For it's a like getting million. A, it's like getting a kiss cast. Eulogy yeah, by the music Marlboro never man. stops. Yeah. Eulogy. Uh, he was a tough guy. We're all out of here. You know? Marlboro man, he never talked. He was a good no, man. He, hey, he didn't have Marlboro. a fucking yeah. well, that's voice how it process. Be. He, he, rode rode a horse. he couldn't talk because he was like... He got a cigarette in his mouth and he rode a horse. Today he would be like... I don't know. Today, if you see the commercial today, he'd be riding up like this, right? Okay, the Marlboro man with his fucking cowboy hat and shit. And his trach. <laughs> look directly <laughs> into the camera. Yeah. Look directly into the camera. Smile and go, Smoke, it's really fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> that's fucking crazy. Cr- that's what it would be like today. Yeah. yeah, that's what it would be. You'd have four fingers on one hand. Oh, back then, they were like, hey. He didn't say a word. He just like looked into the camera and smiled. I, I never smoked. And you're like... I gotta get another pack. Well, you used to have the lucky strikes. I, I, Remember I, lucky strikes? I never smoked, but uh, the, the big smoke, the big cigarette in my town when, when I was growing up, everybody did smoke was Newport. You, you, a lot of black know, guys in your guys neighborhood. Not at all. Oh, definitely. None? Really? None. Were, were you next to North? Because that's usually like no. black guys and fat white chicks smoke. Oh, or, well then we hit upon it. Fat white chicks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. oh, there we are. <laughs> from Kingsburg. There's lots of them. I wouldn't say <laughs> that. There you have it. I'm just saying. No, no, no. I, mean, Actually, I, mean, I, know, I know it's a stereotype, but it's true. It, yeah. It, it is true. Inner city and... and you know, and stereotypes are, 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 are not um, hateful if, no, if not they're hateful. true. This is it's an observation. It's, it's right. true. It, it is. They, you know... Mental is their, you know, their, their thing. deal. Yeah. Now, no, if I was to say, wait a couple of seconds, and a couple of half black babies will come running around the corner. Now, that might no. be considered racist. No, carry no, a pack no, of no shit. But again, Newports. carry a pack of Newports. But again, <laughs> she's smoking Newports. I'm just saying. No, nah, but Mike, uh, no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 you're going no. too far now. <laughs> it was fun. Now you're getting sick. Anyway, <laughs> we just took if, an exit I, ramp, didn't we? we? We went way off. Over we just there. took an exit ramp to the. He other always. City. Died. I love the guy. He always. Fucking, how far can we take that? Don't, I don't know. Don't take it too far. I don't want to lose people. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know. What for, first of all, hey, first it, of all, it if me they, off anyway. I don't even know what the fuck. Anyway. First anyway. of all, if they're listening to me, what the hell? I don't know. They, they, they listen to Second of all, if they're actually my, listening to me, that, then then they know that that's just. Yeah, that's Spike. That's just that's, nah, that's it's just spike. fucking around. This portion of our show brought to you by Newport and Newport Lights. <laughs> <laughs> and they had the fancy girls. They thought they were cool. They would smoke parliaments. Parliaments. Oh, oh. I'm smoking parliaments. I know. I, I I still have friends who smoke parliaments and have for 35 years. Really? I had, yeah, I had a friend that smoked a lot of parliament. It was like I couldn't. You couldn't get enough. So it's too See now, if you were camel, no filter. That was deadly. Because that's what killed the dinosaurs. No, no filter my camels. Yeah, that's what killed down. the dinosaurs. Holy Jesus! <laughs> <You ever, you laughs> that was camel. You ever camel run out and steal yeah. one from the old man? Oh, oh man! Holy Jesus! Camel, no filters. Oh. I don't know how the fuck you do this. My father used to smoke taridins. Oh really? And my mother used to smoke viceroys. Viceroys? Remember viceroys? Yeah, I remember viceroys. Rather fight than switch. Better fight than switch. What was, black the, guy, what, black what, what was the ad? What was the ad? I'd, it was camel, I think. I'd walk a mile for a camel. Walk a mile, walk a mile, yeah, walk a mile for a walk camel. Taste me, taste me, come on, taste me. Now I gotta tell you, my my mom smoked Benson and Hedges, and then Eve or Eve Lights One Hundreds. Benson and Hedges. The, the the commercial was with the Ben cigarette. With the Ben cigarette. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But my ben. dad. One twenties. My dad smoked Silver Thins, and then he died. He died when I was nine, and I've never seen them again. I think he kept the whole Silver Thins thing going. Because I've never seen him again. Have you ever heard of Silver Things? I never heard of I heard like a Silver yeah. Pack. Yeah. It was a cigarette in a silver pack. And that's what he smoked, and he died, and I never saw them again. Really? So he, he, had, he must have had kept them going for a long time. And then he died, and it was it. They, was like, well, they went out of business. Apart. Yeah, they must have went out of business. Like cases of it, you know? That's what I mean. He bought them all. I should have bought stock and silver. Things. Out of business. Oh, I remember smoking Winchesters. Winchester, my uh, no, I grand- remember my grandmother smoked Winchester. The little cigars, <laughs> yeah, no, no she, those she actually the had little brown ones. Oh, those were rough. Oh, those were nasty. <laughs> <laughs> How do you even get anything out? It's like smoking a pen. It's like uh, you try to get, you know, you, there's no draw on it. It's just, I don't know. I've been smoking for forty years, though. So. Are you? Do you still smoke now? Oh yeah. Yeah. I wish I could see what's going on, Gene. How come it knocked me off? Uh, it's working well, it's on mine at home. To. I don't know. It just, it yeah. just not, and, it and just better not, things. I'll say you're down you to off. two packs a day, one phone. pack a day. But we're we're still alive. Still under a pack a day. All right, listen, oh, give good. us a call, man. After 40 oh, years, man. still under a pack a day. Yeah. But then That's again, good, there, was, there was the years when 
There was extracurricular uh, curricular activities. Is that you yeah, that? extracurricular. Go ahead, go ahead. Spit yeah. it out. You know what causes that? Smoking. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I was. I never smoked because my parents both of them smoked, and I just felt it was a disgusting habit. And when all my friends would be like, "Oh, you're not cool," I'm like, "Yeah, I know, I'm not cool. That's fine." But I also don't have lung cancer, so that's cool. Well, I mean, I, I well, still smoke now, cigars right? every now and then. <laughs> Everybody's uh, quitting. Everybody's my quitting. wife, my wife wants me to quit. I'm going to quit. I, I, I switch from cigarettes to cigars. I do smoke a lot less than if it was yeah. a cigarette. Yeah. Once in a while, I'll bum a cigarette off of somebody. Right. After the first drag, it's like. Oh, yeah. If you, if that's like, what I, from what I understand. If you don't do it for a while, the yeah, first. Yeah, because the cigars I smoke are they're dipped in cognac. Oh yeah. And, nice and then it's, it's sweet. It's a real sweet. Yeah, yeah. My know. my buddy smokes uh, cigars it's dipped in like vanilla or strawberry. Yeah. But um. But I like it. I'm 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 only allowed to smoke in a garage. Yeah. Because. Because I don't know. I've had I've I've had it's a few cigars. It's the rule in the house. I've only had I've had like because three or four cigars so. in my yeah, life. Yeah, basically you know? because she said so. <laughs> yeah. You are not going but to smoke you know, that in the house. house. She'll come out. She'll be like, "Let me have a puff." Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> oh yeah. She'll smoke. never gotten that. She does she'll it for the high. Some, she'll smoke some of it, and then, and and or or she'll come and open up the garage. She knows I'm in the garage. If I'm in the garage, I'm having a cigar. Right. Okay. She knows it, and she'll come open up the garage door. After I'm in there 15, 20 minutes, I'm done. All right? And she, wait. Instead of right away, she opened it. Oh, you're done? You didn't ask me if I wanted any. I was like, so, if, you, if you wanted some, you open up the door, come out like you always do. Sounds like a bunch like, of I got to read it, your mind. Like, it's a hey, cigar. It's not like Puff Puff oh, Pass. Yeah. yeah you, know? you know, it's a cigar. Yeah. yeah. It's you, like, can, you can buy them legally. It's like yeah. joint. What, I, yeah. How do you do wrong? How is that wrong? What did I do wrong? You didn't. You didn't. Well, why did they make you feel like you did something wrong? Because you just didn't invite her, John. That's just the way it is. There, there is no right answer, there John. Is. There is only, I'm yeah, sorry, John. Certain amounts of guilt could be highly profitable. Just saying. Even little, even little increments. No, but there's nothing to be guilty about, but they do it to you. They make know, you feel... I know, I know. Well, it, it's it scary. But you know what else, though? This is the thing that I think... Of, but you, you know that, and we still fall for it. We always do. We always Every do. time. We, we have no do. choice. You know? I mean, I have friends... It doesn't make sense. You know, I have friends who fall for it more than others. Like, I have friends who think that the go-go dancer actually likes it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that kind of friend, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> you know, yeah, but then, like, you know... She looked at me. Then all yeah. of a sudden... Ooh, she likes me. She's talking to me. She asked yeah. me to come in the back Yeah, room. yeah, but you know what? Then, for $125. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She and my hands at my hey, sides. She you know, there is no champagne in the champagne room, boys. <laughs> <laughs> she thinks we're close enough now that she could borrow money from me. Yeah, go ahead. You keep telling yourself. <laughs> my girlfriend's the same way. No, but don't like when you, when, you, when you start to give in, you know, and and like you know, you start to give them the compliments and ask, and and, and then they tell you, oh, you know, what's what did you do wrong? Yeah. I didn't do nothing. That's like, that's like trying why, to, why, are you, why are you being so nice? It's like taking the garbage out and your mom not asking you. Yeah. yeah. What'd you do wrong? Now you went from one extreme to the other. It's like my dad used to clip me in the back of the head every morning and say, that's for nothing when you do something. Yeah. Well, he was that, always one ahead different. of me. That's different. He was that, always that, one ahead of me. Is, yeah, but... That's it. He knew. He on knew Saturdays, that. I got three. You yeah. understand what I'm saying. Just easier. Right? I, I understand what you're saying, but... Brother, you just gotta give in to that. There's, just, <laughs> there's, there's no, there's, there's no, no, it, there's no mystic, no there's, there's no, no mystical it. reason or answer that any human being on this planet can give you. Shut up and Shut take up. it like hey. all the rest of hey. us. Hey. 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 That's, that's all it is. Yeah, you know what? I'm just, I'm, you, you are it feels not good right. to let it out. You are. I, I, this well, is like listen. therapy. Okay, okay that's see, good. see now I when you know now, now when you say that, you, you, God bless you, brother. Get it out, preach, yeah. brother, preach. Yeah. Amen. Now, now, testify. Get it out now. You see that now? That's, that's, that's I'm right. saying. I'm saying things yeah. every guy that's out there wants to fucking say right now. Well, that's that's your totally, wife listening. That's, my yeah. wife's listening, and I get shit when I get oh, home. Oh, okay. Yeah, he says. I know no, I'm going to get but not shit. Not for much longer. <laughs> but not, you know what? I'm not being stupid because she said, "Don't be stupid." Yeah, there's it's a little bit less stupid. in the ball. He'll be good. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm not talking politics, which I was not. Don't not talk politics no, no, or religion. No. Okay, so I'm following the rules. All right, but I'm just talking about. I'm just saying that you know. I'm not a mind reader, hun. I love you and everything, but I don't know that you want it come out into the garage with me and no I don't think asking because uh, it's, it's my fucking so, selfish so okay that's, that's, that you obviously know that's, that's a female thing 
99 out of 100 females do it, and only because the 101 died, right? But <laughs> <laughs> so they all do that. They all pull that shit, and we know it. We 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 like kind of suck right into it. But it kind of brings out you know you've, you've you're you're a joke man. Obviously, you know all these jokes. I see your jokes, which are very good on Thank Facebook you. in the morning. Thank you very but much. But you heard the joke where the guy's walking down the beach. He finds the lamp. He rubs it. Pop out pops a genie. Says, "I can give you one wish." He says, "Well, I can pretty much have everything I want." So he goes, uh, "But you know what? I've never been to Hawaii, and I won't fly, and I don't like boats." So I need you to build me um, a highway from here to Hawaii. And the genie goes, I don't know about that. I just, I mean, there's, there's permits, there's weather involved, there's crews, there's unions to deal with, <laughs> concrete, there's all the budget well, overruns, the and the cost hey, overruns, huh? and <laughs> oh my God. He goes, you know what? It's just impossible. I can't do it. Give me another wish. The guy says, all right, I just want a complete and utter understanding of all women. He goes, you want that highway two or four lanes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. But um, no, uh, we, we don't. We fall for it because we secretly like it. Though. Otherwise, things we, are good, you know. Yeah, otherwise things are it, good. It gives us something to bitch about too. No, you know yeah. what? I have. Yeah. I, I have a dog. It's, it's a. You know my dog, Mia. She's a cocktail weenie. She's yeah, a dash hound. A little dash hound, yeah. right? And and she likes. I, my wife, I call her Frank. That's her father's name. Okay, because the heat can only be at sixty three. Okay, and if right. it's a little chilly in the house, you got to fight with Frank to. You know, turn it up. Yeah. Usually it's the other way around. I'm like, hey, man, I'm cold. I'm going to turn the heat up. All right? Yeah. So I, I got to... I, I, Put on a sweatshirt. Is that you get that sweat- answer to? Yeah, I get... Okay. What are you doing? What are you wearing what a t-shirt for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? Put put a sweatshirt on. All right? Put a, put a sweater on. So now I got a blanket. Right? I feel like I'm fucking old man now. Yeah. I got a blanket on my legs, right? Why you feel like and that? The dog, because <laughs> the old man wearing a fucking blanket. It's like... Oh, wait, wait, no. Why, why you feel it into like my that? father. <laughs> all right? Tell us about it, John. So yeah. I'm, I'm, I got the blanket. Vent. I got the blanket, right? And the dog comes up. And the Turning dog, into? The dog goes under the blanket in between my legs. Now I'm sitting <laughs> like this, right? I just got a weenie sticking out. I, yeah. I, I, a wiener dog. I lost my wife's balls. I go, hey. <laughs> I got a big weenie yeah. between my legs right now. Yeah. She gets like, shut up. Yeah, oh, I'd be all like, hey, you want to pet my weenie? No, nah, I, I always get her to get me iced tea when I'm out of iced tea because it's like, hey, I can't get up. I got this huge weenie yeah. between my legs. I can't get up. I, gotta I say, really don't want to bother like it. The, if I stand up, I'm like the human tripod. I kind of, you know, you know <coughs> I, I don't, don't really want to schlep this. You but I only that. ask when they get up. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't, don't look and say, do up. me a favor, get up and get. When she gets up, because yeah. she gets While up While you're often. up, could you... Yeah, she gets up often, quite often. She's yeah. fidgety. She doesn't like to sit for a long time. Yeah. Well, then she okay. runs around because she's cold. Except for her she warms up. If, there, if a commercial comes on, she'll sit and watch the commercial. Oh, yeah. Shit. Okay. How come women really? do that? That's no, I, I, no, my, one thing I never understood. My wife's totally the opposite. As, really? soon as, a com- as soon as a commercial comes on, it gets muted. Sometimes I demand that they leave the volume on for the commercials because sometimes there's some interesting commercials. Well, you and, and have something to she, ignore. It, it could play right in front of her and you make a comment about the commercial that was on not half a second ago and she'll have no idea what the, you're talking about. I don't she know, just I, tunes them out. She cannot stand commercials. Every woman I've yeah. ever known, every woman I've ever known talks during, during, the, during uh, the show. show and quiet during the commercial. Yeah. yeah. Why? And and they know what's going on in the no, show. No, no, how the well, fuck do they know what's going on in the show? But the commercial just happened ten minutes ago. You know how they know? They it's look the same at you and say, from ten minutes ago. No, you know how they know? They look at you and say, "What just happened? What just happened? What yeah. Just, yeah. And now you gotta go over the whole fucking thing you just watched. Yeah, and you missed no. the commercial. Yeah, because she had to watch the commercial. You know, you know what I notice a lot of women do too. They have a tendency to get in the car and they like, like my, my wife in particular likes the music loud, so she turns the music up and we'll sit in there for two seconds and the music will be blasted. She'll go. So what'd you do today? How was your day? Okay, so I'll turn the radio <laughs> down, and she'll go, oh, that sounds pretty good. That's interesting. And she'll turn the radio back up and go, you know, what I did was, it's like, all right, we can't, I'm not going to scream over the fucking radio. <laughs> We're either going to turn it down and talk or turn it up and listen, listen, but not both. <laughs> oh, that's funny, man. Yeah, it's, and it's true. It's absolutely My true. My wife falls funny. asleep. We don't even get out of the fucking driveway, and she snored. Oh, yeah. But Shade, that would make sense. Yeah, yeah, we don't want that. We don't want that. We like to keep things interesting. Make my brain hurt. Yeah. We like to keep things interesting. Up, Absolutely. Uh, what kind of music? Up to here. Any kind. We listen to all kinds, from ABBA to Zeppelin and everything in between. You admit that? Or listen to ABBA? Oh, absolutely. Love you have like a classic rock in radio station inside I, your car or I got, something? I got satellite radio. I got Pandora in my car. I got everything. Oh, wow. I got Sonos at home. I can listen. Rich. I got... I got, got fucking money. You could, the that Sonos like system, like you could put on... Um, it. You can hook 30 different speakers up to one little, what's called a bridge. And you can listen to 30 different things in your house. 
Maybe That's you crazy. can put it on your phone, and the whole the whole thing runs from the phone. This is the remote. That's crazy. So if my wife's upstairs You're and wants to listen, savvy, you? not even a little. It's just, the, like, but it's that easy. I'm barely fucking getting this to work. You know what I mean? I'm not, and I just know how to run my Sonos because it, it did cost a lot of money. But the speakers sound wonderful. They're they're little. You can play one, play two, and three. Play three. We're down to we're down to less than ten minutes, folks. Ten minutes left. We're at the ten minute mark. Yeah. Oh man. I'm having fun. We, we go to 8.15 usually. So I thought, oh, we I had, thought it was 8.30. I thought we had more friends no, than that than two people Because the, the, the other show starts, I think, at 8.30. Oh, so whatever. you, yeah, we got, you got to be off and out by the time yeah. they come in Every, and Yeah, yeah, yeah. And again, sense. Yes. We're not really alone. See, we're, nah, see, we're, see, we're, see, we're not see, much good there's on only, that. There's only men in the room now, so there's a lot of sense going on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love women. Hey, we got time enough for one more caller. If you want to call in, call in now. Terry Lidecker, I think you wanted to talk to Mark, but... Uh, for those of you that don't know Mark, then you listen to the rest of the show and left. This is Mark Russi. He's a Michelin chef uh, from uh, where? Detroit? Oh, what are you from now? <laughs> yeah. Detroit. I, well, I used to be. <laughs> yeah, now he's from. Yeah. I'm not there We're in Lake New York right now. And uh, originally from Wanaki, New Jersey. Johnny's a friend of mine. I have known for a lot of up. years. Friend of ours. Oh, we got Spikey over here. Hey man. Spikey's. Uh, Buddha sidekick, my sidekick, both side, I, sidekicks. I just kind of hang out. He's a good guy. He's, funny he's the guy. funny one. He just, he just hangs like a booger. And uh, Mr. Comedian over here. Okay. Shout out to Shay Farrell. Thank you. Shay Farrell. Thank you very much. Tonight. Stand-up comedian. He also uh, has a large bank account. Great ladies. Uh, I think he's taken. Got that but, uh, yeah, very taken. He's very taken. And my large bank account is not anywhere near large enough. But, uh, he's taken. That's why. Well, I, I actually, I, well, I, I told you. I, did, I think, yeah, exactly. I told you. We, I did the numbers, <laughs> and I could retire easily. Retire three to five years after I'm dead. See? Yeah. So at I'm least safe. I'm safe. You know. You're, actually, no. The, you're the, living the dream, man. I am. The God's honest truth is, if I wanted to, then this is serious. If I wanted to, I could retire tomorrow, and that's the truth. God I can live comfortably till 2 p.m. Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> and then the worries would set in and I lose my house and everything else. But, you know. I'll be outside with a can. Yeah. The software. But, uh, but anyway, no, I, uh, I, don't, I don't have a large bank account. But I do work <laughs> 70 hours a week. So. I know you do. You put a lot, I do. Hours I work a lot of hours it's in. Uh, it's like UPS, that job. You know, my cousin worked for UPS for a lot of years. and uh, you gotta, you got to bleed brown to be a UPS person. Yeah. yeah. You know, you know what? Is, is that what you do? Or no, you? no, no. I'm an overhead lineman. I touch. No. I build and maintain power he, lines. He bleeds cool. yellow and orange. I, I bleed electric. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> the electric Jason, company. Yeah. I just, I just ran from work. Now I got it a little bit later than I expected. That's why I was late. He deals with high voltage. Yeah, the high voltage. High voltage. High voltage. Now, right now, I'm building a 69,000 volt line through the state. Wow. So. And you got to look like that. It's like a cop look. So you got to look like a cop to get that yeah, job. Apparently, like I'm walking the beat. But now, I keep your feet out of the water. This is my buddy. I was telling you, he's the chef. Yes. How do you trust the fucking skinny chef? Tell me. That's <laughs> because a I lot. That's you. because a, a lot of chefs my have lady. done a lot of coke, so my you don't know which are which. So you got to you got to let him go yeah. on his own. Where? How do you trust him? though? he's a great cook. Well, there's he been cooks some great, great. There's where been you, some where great chefs. That have, where do you? I, where I are you? I just now? answered that question. Uh, up in the Oak Ridge, to Tuskegee Brew House. Right now, I'm not working because I got to. Yeah, he just—he uh, was in a major car accident. I was gonna, oh, yeah, I was gonna say because yeah, I, I was gonna, I wasn't gonna say. Yeah, they, it, no, I wasn't. That. Didn't want to bring it up. No, I, was, I was gonna do it off air only because he's like my brother. Okay, no, and then in, in December, December fifth. Yeah. Okay. December third. I'm sorry, the third. He was driving home from work, and a tree fell out of the woods onto his fucking car. Wow. Oh, that's who you were talking. Yeah. yeah, we were it's talking. Like we brother. were talking about you. Uh, yeah, like yeah, Mark, almost Mark and after, I have been close right after for a lot it happened, he was t- talking about it. Where I'm lucky to have. And it, you were actually the second person I had heard about where something like that had happened, like re- re- like in did recent you, time. Did, did you see that the guy who the dumbbell went through on the turnpike? He died. The guy with the dumbbell, when the dumbbell fell through what, his what car. What happened? The it, it fell out of a truck in front yeah, of him. Yeah, either it fell out of a truck or maybe some kids threw it off. And they, I'm sure I don't really know exactly if they know what happened yet, but that dumbbell went right through so his windshield. Oh Jesus! And hit him in the face. Holy! And he, and he, and he, and he, and he, and he, and he died today. Today or yesterday he died. Oh Jesus! Oh, that's that's strange. Um, my condolences. That's, yeah, condolences yeah, to his family. Because that's just a freak accident. That's, that's a total freak well, accident. It's either a freak accident yeah. or some very, or some very really mischievous kids who now have, you know, something. A real bad conscience right now. Real, yeah. Or, yeah. Or you know what? Actually, they probably don't give yeah, a shit. shit right no, they, they don't. Give a shit, you they, know? Pro- they probably think like, it's cool. But you know what? It's really, oh, it's really, really cool having a chef as a friend. 
because like I do most of the cooking at my house. Yeah, and it's. <laughs> it's I know. Like, I got. I see some of the shit you post. I come uh, to your house. And one you know why? Well, so a lot of it's from me. I, I call him up. Oh, really? Like, hey, what do I do? I'm making this, yeah. and he'd be like, "Yeah, well, th- listen, if you." And the reason why I call him is because see, I can do it, but I can only do it with garlic. And my wife is allergic to fresh garlic. Oh, really? Wow, she can that's, only that's she can have a little bit of powder. A that's little terrible. bit of powder. So I'm, 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 I'm a to guinea garlic. married to a Sicilian that's fucking allergic to garlic, okay? Wow. It's hell. Oh, it's hell. This is my hell, okay? That's like, married to a vampire. Like, so he, he, <laughs> he, he tells me how to do it without garlic, that it'll still taste that good. That'll still taste good? Yeah. That's like being married to a, a fucking sea lion who doesn't like water. I mean, it's, I don't just I don't get it. I know. A Sicilian who doesn't like garlic? She can't. No, not that she doesn't like it. No, she's allergic. She's so. allergic. Yeah, she yeah. she gets really That's really terrible. ill. That's terrible. She eats garlic. So it's tough to cook. You know, a lot of things. I mean, I grew up in an Italian household. Yeah. Okay, and we. Uh, I'm like, man, everything was garlic. Everything. Yeah. I mean, you know, you took a roast beef, you stabbed it with a knife, you stuck a fucking clove of garlic in there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's what you did. Every once in a while, I would take a clove of garlic and stick it with roast beef. <laughs> that's just, <laughs> cut that's the, the kind man. of crazy guy you are. Yeah, but she can't. It. She can't. Cut out the middle no, she man. can't eat it. Yeah. Nah, nah, she can't eat that's it. That's a shame. So, so it's great to have a shot. I call him up. I'm like, hey, dude, I'm, uh, yeah. I just got this pork loin. I want to do this, do it. I want to do that, do it. I want to. He goes, well, I do a little bit of this, oh, yeah, and I take good. a little bit of that. Yeah. My, Before my, you know it, I'm, I'm, I'm making a fucking five-star meal over here. Yeah, my <laughs> wife loves to cook. She's a big foodie, so she's got so me into watching, like, a Top Chef and all of those shows. And I enjoy But you, I, I figured out you can't. I could have a five-course dinner, and once Top Chef comes out, i got to have something in my hand eating it because they just show the best food on there. It's like, my yeah. God, that's you got to like, be well, eating something. you got to be eating something. Well, I'm yeah. sorry, but we got to wrap this up. Uh, Terry Lineker, you never call back. Sorry, bro. Thanks, Terry. Yeah, what the uh, fuck, Terry? Yeah, yeah, Terry. Sorry I missed you, bro. I mean, like, what the fuck? Yeah, you Everybody know what? else, thank you for calling yeah. in. I I'm not you, fucking uh... sorry I missed you. I'm just saying. I'm not sorry. Oh, wait. You know what I am? I am. Terry. Call in next time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he seemed like a lovely gentleman. Just you what the fuck? You guys came out late, yeah. you know? We did. But um, yeah, thank you for tuning in. There was a lot of dead air before you got here. I, I don't. <laughs> did did, did we even here. really talk about anything before Shay showed up? I mean, usually a lot of dead air when I'm here. No, nah, actually, we, we started <laughs> talking. So about it was a nice change of pace. Yeah, the bars. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I showed up for the drinking part. There you go. But I had a good time with everybody. Did you have a good, good time. time. Thanks, Thanks for, for having me. You, you did a good job of hosting uh, you this week. Anything you want to plug? Uh, what about this? This Saturday night, I'll be hosting a fundraiser at the New Comfort, New Point Comfort Firehouse in Keensburg, and then uh, I have another fundraiser on February 11th at um, West Keensburg Firehouse for uh, baseball. Is that baseball? I think it is baseball. And then we're doing a show on the 18th. The 18th. At the, that's sold out. Is it? That's sold I'm out. I'm looking forward to that. Is that the one in New Egypt? Egypt. That's new the one in New Egypt. Egypt. The one in New Egypt. No, new, I'm looking new, forward new to all Egypt these shows. Elks. It's sold but, out, man. I uh. Uh, matter of fact, uh, Craig Logren called me to tell me that uh, a couple people called for tickets, and they were put on a waiting list. Nice. Wow. That place Person. holds over 300 wow. people. Really? Oh, it's a oh, huge so this is going to be great. So this where, 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 where can we find show. out this information if we forgot what we just heard? Is there you like mean a like web? I'm going to in two minutes? L- like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, like, is there uh, like a, I usually put stuff on Facebook. I usually post stuff up on there. All right. And every, and it, every time something gets closer, if there's a flyer involved, I put stuff out. If not, I'll just write it up there. So, so check out, you can find it. Check out Shay on Facebook. I, like him on Shay. You know, yeah, like me Shea on Shay Farrell. Farrell. I don't have I don't have a website yet, but I'm working on it. And then Mark Rusey, uh, you want to see Mark? Mark's going to be back at work soon, and yeah, uh, hopefully soon, at yeah. the Tuscany Brew House up in uh, in Oak Ridge, New Jersey, on Route Twenty Three. Nice. And uh, oh, I, I'm always a big fan of eating, so yeah, we'll check it out. It's a it's a necessity. <clears throat> if you're from the free, freehold area and you hail a cab. It's don't, a, don't look for this guy. Oh, Christ, no, you don't want me. <laughs> hope he's not behind the wheel. He might be driving you. I, I just may be. Or I'll be out in the parking lot until the next show. Uh, you know, whichever show comes on next that I happen to be a part of, uh, I'll be out in the garage uh, already parking lot waiting for it. And go. my name is John Conti. Thanks for tuning in. This was Buddha Radio. And did a Buddha. great job hosting. Thank you. Thank you. I was the guest Thank host. You. Thank you very much. Good night, everybody. Take care. Thank you. I'm glad I got here late.